Hello, welcome to the Introduction to Business Operations and Management module class. Today, we are going to talk about the project management. So, what are we going to cover today? First, you are going to have here the main outcomes of this session. First, we are going to cover the definition of the project and then we will discuss the details of principles of project management and in the second part of this session we are going to discuss the quality control processes let's see the possible outcomes are expected as a result of this session first what is a project? What are the project characteristics? And project management definition. And as a process, we are going to analyze the project management and the types of the project management methodologies. And finally, quality control process is going to be the base of this session. Let's start by the definition of the project i think several things comes to your mind in terms of project it is a part of our real life work so sometimes we handle with the projects in our workplaces and in that case what is this what is project how will we define it even though there are several definitions of the project or we can produce the several definitions we are going to use the two definitions coming from project management institute and association of project management the first one as you can see project management institute proposes a definition it is a temporary effort to create a unique product service or outcome as you know that when we have defined the business the business in order to run a business you need to produce goods services or and advices or opinions and that means that as a result of the process you need to have some output these output can be good services or something else so the purpose is that in order to do this you effort and this is called a project of course you think that the project does not take lifelong right so it is a time bonded operation is handled by the people so this is the definition of project management institute a very simple a very brief definition a project is a temporary effort aimed at creating a unique product, service, or outcome. On the other side, we have another definition was provided by Association of Project Management. And according to that, a project is an effort in human and financial resources that are organized in a unique way to, with the aim of delivering a distinctive scope of work, often within cost and time limitations, and characterized by quantitative and qualitative goals as it is always the scene by the definition was provided association of the and the project management it's a broader definition which also gives the references to characteristics of the projects how first it states that it is an effort in human and financial resources. So, you know, um, in order to manage a pro project or in order to be involved in, a ma in the project management process, you need to handle with human and financial resources. And uh, maybe with another approach, you may think that it's the resource allocation and resource management process so it is organized you organize the financial and human resources for a purpose as we have stated in our first definition you want to create you need to provide an output 
either it is a product or service or opinion, whatever is that. So in order to do this, within cost and time limitation, we take the actions. You know, always there's a budget for each specific project. Under the budget, the condition or budget limits, we take the actions we operate. Another constraint comes from the time. You know, the projects are performed in a time limitation. So this is another aspect of the projects, time limitation. There is a cost constraint and time limitation on projects. So this is the another definition comes from association of project management. Okay, so what are the characteristics of a project? If you are talking about the project, how will you define the characteristics of it? First, as we have underlined and the definition was provided, association of project management, there is a time limitation. So it means that there is a start date and there is an end date. Some of the projects may take one month, some of them may have more than one year. So it depends on the outcome that you want to create, right? So, and also it depends on the resources that you have. Sometimes your resources do not allow you to finish within a specified, specified, specified time or and the expected time. And the, another characteristic, after the deadline is reached, the project is deemed complete. So it is the one of the purpose that the project managers expect in a given time, before the deadline or on a time during the deadline process, the project is supposed to be completed. And if you are coming to end, yes, the deadline is end. Yes, and they try to achieve something new or update an existing project. Actually, the project mostly less thing that you have a company and you have a product, you want to upgrade it or you want to create a new product and you can develop a project theme to develop a new product. So as you can see that it aims to get something new. It might be a new product, it might be a new process, it might be a new organization, it might be a new technology, it might be a new approach. So something new is trying to be achieved by the project management and the project process. So in a project, if you are talking about the project, of course, at the beginning, you have a purpose to achieve, but the level of the risk and uncertainty is often high in a project process. You want to reach the end of the project, project by obtaining the output, but on the other side, there is always risk and uncertainty to do that. Yes, you take some actions, you manage your project in current circ circumstances and the conditions, and so you are highly influenced by these conditions. So it affects the risk position and certainty and uncertainty in your position. All right, if this is the project, what is the project management? Okay, with respect to the characteristics of the project, you may think that project management is the management of the resources to achieve the project objectives. Right. Actually, if you remember the definition of the management, management is the process of achieving organizational goals by using organizational resources through with people. So here again, in project management process, it is a resource management. As the owner of the project, if you are, 
you are supposed to allocate the resources that you have financial and human resources or even the natural resources you are supposed to allocate to the very various group of people to perform but on the other side as an owner of the project you are supposed to manage the time to finish project you know sometimes and the, some of the specific software programs can be used that or traditionally you can use gun chart or the other type of the tools to follow your project but the critical point is here first managing your resources if you assume the time is a type of resource so you are supposed to manage time as well in this process and the main issue the main concern is to achieve specific objectives of the project last thing that you want to create a new car hybrid car for instance in order to get a hybrid car first you need to have an resources the facility research and development team and you should have a certain time within one year or two years how long and the period of time you want to get this item or this output so based on the output you allocate the resources organizational resources to the project team all right so basically uh, the pro projects can be divided into two types we may split into two types and the one on the one side we have the engineering project and the management project actually many engineering projects are the projects you know that which aims to obtain houses breeds roads as an output of the project mostly these are the long time projects right it's not easy to build a house in a shortest time or a bridge or the, the different type of the roads so you can create in a short period of time those projects and some of the projects construction projects are also part of the engineering projects as well one of the management projects management projects includes the such as company restructuring or company redesigning planning for an event or designing an it program is one of the uh, most important project uh, for the software development organizations or information technology companies designing an information technology program launching a new marketing campaign and moving offices you may think that the moving offices is an activity is an operation is not a project actually it depends you know if you don't want to break down your current operations it is an important project should be managed by the company in this process yes so we have some methodologies and ensures approaches to project management what type of methodologies can be based for the project management as you may see here some of the known methodologies in project management field you see prince 2 pm book agile and critical chain let's go over one by one what the approach and the methodologies in management project project management field pm book is mostly for short for project management body of knowledge and uh, actually it's mostly describes the project management practices that are common to most projects so it's just giving a common point or how can we say it, a basic structure to the project right it doesn't give the details it doesn't give so it gives a little bit flexibility to the project owner and the project manager so it's a brief and short body of knowledge which is provided to project managers 
okay? And PRINS2, it actually, as a term, it is used for controlled environment projects. And so it is a process-based project management technique that offers an easily adaptable and flexible framework for handling all project types. So this is a system, right? You may think that like it's a, it's, it's a program. So this system interacts more with senior management of the operational and financial authority and not just the project manager. So it provides a close connection with senior management and also operational side of the management. On the other side, is already a part of the all project management processes and the, with the project management, there is a close relationship. But here, compared to the uh, PM book, it is more flexible. Uh, we can say that. Yeah. And critical chain. And the, if you remember, uh, the one of the characteristic of the projects, you know, is about predicting the risk and uncertainty. Mostly, is not predictable to define risk and the, within the environment. So. This is the software addresses this point, risk and uncertainty, and making it unique from other project management systems. As you have seen, none of the other project management methodologies and the defines uh, any condition for risk and uncertainty. But this is the unique point of the critical change. This is underlining the risk and uncertainty and providing some and forecastings on that. Uh, but this requires a process of project planning and management when taking into account the restricted available top resources. So uh, actually it's because of that, you know, always we operate under the limited resources. So under the limited resources, we need to have a certain process of project. So on the other side, in order to manage this process, with respect to the plan, we are going to have a management plan as well. And agile methodology, actually agile methodology is most widely used in software development industry. What is the most important point of this agile methodology? It is a dynamic process. It's a dynamic process with respect to the change coming from clients, the organization or project theme reacts positively against the change. So it's highly adaptive, it's highly innovative, it's highly dynamic process of the management. So, and as I mentioned, most of the software development projects prefer to use agile methodology. And it's most commonly used in small scale projects or in cases where the actual results are far too complex to explain and establish before testing prototypes. It is the agile methodology. Okay, actually, mostly, uh, actually it depends on the project, but number of the project members change depending on the size of the project. Sometimes it might be four to five or it goes to nine member of the theme in agile methodology. All right. So we can't uh, separate the project management process from the quality control process. Even though we have slightly discussed the quality control process, I want to emphasize one more, the importance of the quality control process as it is related to project management process. You know, the quality control process is a process of making sure if the provided outputs are at expected level or not, or as good as 
with the standards of the organization company and this is you know that's why we design a process this is called quality control process it starts by planning and information subsystem support the control subsystems as a whole if you think any company as an entire system first as an entire system if the control systems or the subsystems of the organization is supported by the main system and the subsystems of the organization this is the first thing and so the both are important for consistency as control is exercised was measuring if it is fitting the expected standards or not and uh, you know in controlling what do we do first in planning phase we have the standards determined for the quality for each specific job within the organization and after an operational time we measure the actual performance and actual output if there is a deviation between the standards and the actual output or actual performance we take some corrective actions this is the process how quality control process works first we have the quality standard and we implement the processes as it was designed by the company finally we get the sample outputs from the process and we measure the actual outputs to standards and so we are going to have if it is fitting the standard it's good to company but if it is not the, as a company you are supposed to take some corrective actions most of these corrective actions are managed by a project team if there is a deviation if there is a critical mistake in a process to show you where you should be you need a plan and you need information to tell you where you are if either of these is absent control cannot be exercised so it's very good at which point you are standing now in terms of quality yeah if there's a deviation it's a whole process to be managed by the control quality control managers all right at the final stage of this session and uh, for the upcoming sessions there is an hover right it will be better to make a research on that what are the key concepts of effective operation strategy and uh, on upcoming sessions we are going to talk about operation strategies in detail that's why it will be useful to make a research on it all right so finally what did we learn today today we have covered principles of project management first we have defined the project and characteristics of the project and then we discuss the principles of project management and we have also covered the 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 methodologies of project management we have discussed the four basic methodologies approaches to quality sorry process uh, project management and we have finally discussed the quality control process so if you have any question this is the email you can send me to ask any question thanks